Alright everybody, welcome back to the next episode of The Darkest Dungeon. So, it uh, has been a little while, mainly due to just some other projects I've been working on, but we're back. Um, there isn't too much really unique to say about this episode. I've been hinting about doing a champion dungeon soon. Sadly, that will not be in this episode. However, our original crew here of Psycho Work, uh, Nate, there's more Wintergreen, are finally going to dip up to rank 5 today. Uh, Mulan's coming with them, because... I've done some team building off screen here, and we, we really do need some damage in this party, considering Wintergreen is a stunner and also a, a, a damage over time character, and Nate, of course, is our healer. And it's not that Psycho Work can't do a lot of damage, he can, but we're not going to be going to the Undead Crypt today. So Mulan is in there to kind of pick up the slack of what Psycho Work can't do, damage-wise. That being said, uh, three of our characters from the last episode are in hospice, but now a good chunk of our main party here is, is rank 5, which means they, they can do champion dungeons. And Blobsville has had rabies, I think, for three weeks now, and I am purposefully not treating it. Because it does nuke her accuracy to, to leper levels. However, it gives her a decent um, damage percent, and I would be okay running accuracy bonuses on her. Unlike the leper, which physically needs them to be effective at this point in the game. Um, we'll see. We'll see how bad that 10 accuracy is. I would be willing to admit it's horrible, however she's pretty much going to become better than the leper because damage is all the leper has and she can actually hit theoretically she can hit position four with 15 percent more damage which is pretty much a guaranteed kill or close to it for any of the back row annoying stun uh, stress casters in those dungeons so i look forward to that being effective hopefully maybe it'll fail horribly i don't know and for upgrades today we are going to only make one currently, which is uh, bumping up the furnace to rank 3 in the blacksmith here. And there we go. So now, now we're sort of out of everything but crests. This isn't too uncommon. Um, we're late game, or we're getting into the late game here where upgrades cost a great deal. So Now, the unique thing about this episode is we're going to be doing a, uh, this mission here in the weld. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing the We Must Eat or the rec Reclaim Relics of the Light missions are because they require you to gather three things, which means that's three less inventory slots that could be 1750 gold now in each of them. Which means we're effectively pulling 5000 less gold from the dungeons if we do this. Now, we're awarded with All Saints Day if we do Reclaim Relics of the Light, which would be great because All Saints Day means we get free access to the the cathedral. That could save us a little bit of gold. The problem is that would have been nice to have this week. Come next week, the only person that could use it maybe is going to be Mama Italy and her stress is going to be reduced a little bit. So there really is no reason to pick up All Saints Day. As for Bumper Crop, I believe Bumper Crop gives you free access to, I want to say, the tavern. It might also give free food in future missions, which is just is not... That's not, that's not good enough, in my opinion, to um, cost the fact that we lose three inventory slots. We also pick up an item we don't need because we have two. And the Berserk Charm is something that I'm not a huge fan of, honestly. It's okay, but I don't love it. We get to pick up a Manslayer's Ring for going to the Weld, which is a ring we don't really need, but it's a unique ring to add to our collection, I guess. Um, it might see play at some point, although I highly doubt it. If there was a human boss that I actually cared about fighting. <laughs> there is one, but I don't want to fight them. Um, maybe I bring it. But standard medium run, uh, no no special mission, we just need to kill everything in the weld. And yeah, there isn't really anything, anything special about it, but it'll pip up our, our party to rank five, which is exciting, and prepare us for the uh, getting close to champion dungeons anyway. Also importantly, I've been talking about making money on this channel quite a bit recently in this game. And our crew here is all rank 4 armor, all rank 4 weapons, and they all have rank 4 skills. Which means I do not have to spend a penny on them before going out. So the only cost we're, we're paying today is the provision cost. Here we go. And I, I, I always forget that, so we'll drink it here. Our party's going to be psycho work in front, like usual. Wintergreen in third position and Nate in fourth position as usual, but now we're going to throw in Mulan, our Master Grave Robber, for extra damage in second position. That's a little bit of a weird place for her to go. Typically she's three, maybe even four, but, she, but her skills can work from two. Um, except for Lunge. Lunge cannot work from two. Primarily she's going to be poisoning things and throwing daggers. 
And if we need her to lunge, she can Shadow Fade into a lunge, which is a humongous buff. So. Alright, starting with our, uh, our Crusader here, we're, we're going to change things up. I mentioned doing this for the Leper last time, and if it works in the Leper, it probably works better on every other character. We're going to be using... Let's see here. There we go. I knew I was missing it. We're going to be using the Crescendo box for damage. No, actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're, we're going to run out of standard Focus Ring Overture box combo on the, uh, on the Crusader, which is, like I mentioned before, the Focus Ring gives accuracy and crit. Two good things. Uh, maybe not as good on the Crusader, but overall it's not bad for the cost of 8 dodge. And the, and the Overture box loses the accuracy, but it but it loses the accuracy that the Focus Ring gives you. And in turn, it gives you 15% more health, which is most noticeable on a tank. And plus 8 dodge. So we're not actually losing anything here, we're just flat gaining with both of these items. Um, for Mulan, she's going to take her standard loadout of Camouflage Cloak and Lucky Talisman. I believe I've ran Camouflage Cloak on her in every single mission we've taken her. High dodge on her works wonders, especially because she has Clumsy, which stinks. Uh, I probably should have gotten rid of Clumsy before it locked in, but permanent negative 5 dodge, unless I want to pay like 10k to get rid of it, is going to be annoying. This encounter that. Winter Green will be taking the same two, same two items he's been taking since the beginning of the game. The Witch's Vile and the Blight Amulet, because frankly, Stun Chances, Stun Chance and Blight Chance are pretty much all we do with Winter Green, so why not? And Nate will take the standard loadout of Sacred Scroll and... Where's my other book? There it is. Stone of Holy Healing. So that's our crew. Those are their provisions. Let's head out. Alright, so it's going to be a medium run in the Weld, which means we're going to reduce our, our maximum bringable food here to four. Because we're going to camp. Ideally, that camp would be an eight food camp, which means we'd get three hunger pings in a medium, in a medium run. However, you know, I... I Th this channel has gotten to the point where I think I'm, I'm averaging higher than four hunger pings per medium run, like 4.1 or something. So we're bringing, we're bringing five hunger pings worth of food, and probably not even going to camp with food at this point. We'll see. Maybe we'll get a four, we'll get a four food camp. I don't know. Other YouTubers will be getting eight food camps as they should, but for whatever reason, we're getting lots of hunger pings in this channel. Um, now the well is really bad. For shovels because you have the highest amount of blockages and you also have a couple of at least one curio you need to shovel for so i'm going to bring four um anti-venom is quite useful here so is bandages for two curios and herbs as well i'll take uh take three of those honestly because they're useful for a couple of things I'll take a third anti-venom because it's actually useful for two curios we'll take our standard three key loadout and one hold, uh, yeah, I'll take a second holy water. I didn't think I had one, but two's enough, and we'll take our standard 16 torches. Alright. And as per usual, I will see you guys at the entrance to the dungeon. Alright, here we are at the entrance to the dungeon here in the Weld. Um, and we have a very fun layout, actually. So, this layout stinks for camping because we're gonna have to go all the way up here to the left and then come back and camp here, I guess. Um, but... It is what it is. Maybe I'll camp part of the way through here, I don't know. Immediate trap. First tile in, of the dungeon. We did dodge it, though. Alright. Still have high enough light here. I'm going to save the torch, because it's going to be some serious backtracking on this one. Alright. Nice. Bandage carry up. Pretty good. Good stuff. Torch, anything with it? Nope, but I'll take it. Why not? Trap! That one did get psycho work. Alright. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. Minor blight, not too bad. Some stress. Alright. What do we have in here? Nothing. Okay, not too bad. Let's keep pushing forward. This is an anti-venom curio, I believe. Or a key. Keys also work. Nice. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Alright. Paid for in blood. We were surprised. That's would be bad if we didn't kill them very quickly. I think we're we're gonna be alright. 
puts Mulan in a humongous damage position. This stinks for... Uh, actually, that was a pretty bad shuffle, but we, we, we sort of fixed it. Nice dodge. All right. Who are you going to hit? Wintergreen? Okay. So that was really the only bad thing about this. We should be able to kill them now with not really a, any remorse. Oh, yeah, you'll get rid of her. Psycho Work should be able to deal with that. Be gone, fiend. Destroyed. There's that high crit chance coming in. Alright. Not really a problem. This is going to be a huge damage attack. If I, I, I can lunge this uh, gladiator out of existence. Annihilated. That's Pogger's level damage. Mind you, she was buffed, of course. That wouldn't happen normally, but... You don't, get to, you, you don't always get to, get to do that too often in a playthrough. You get to actually have fun for once. Alright. Uh, stun chance is pretty low. Kill chance is low. Let's heal the whole party. Decimated. Alright. We definitely want the gold here. Um, the thought does cross my mind of throwing firewood, honestly. But we are in medium dungeon. We don't want to get too careless here. We'll throw herbs. Let's make sure our party is back where they should be. Alright. Highlight. There is a fight in here, okay. We surprised them this time, that's how it is. that's how things should go. This should be uh well, well we want to look out through it, so how much more damage do we have? Pretty good damage for him. Yikes. A momentary abatement. Alright, this will guarantee he only gets one action off if we want to stun instead. At this point, we'll blight them both. Alright. Let's hope we get the cutthroat there, but... Two very low damage rolls from both the Vestal and the... Uh, grave Robber here. Nice, do nice dodge there by her. It's good. Slice and Dice is a high crit chance. It's a nasty ability. Their formation is broken. So I want him gone. Maintain the offensive. This would be a good time to shuffle the big guy, but nah. Blight you again, hopefully, so you can't die. Good. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Sun chance is very high. We're not going to land it. Or stun resistance, say. Alright, point blank shot. Not too bad if it doesn't move him. It doesn't move him. Alright. We need, we need to heal Psycho Arc there. This won't be a low roll, though. Their cursed champion falls. Do we care enough about deeds, or do we just want money at this point? That's gonna be a treasure room, so we're gonna use. It. We can't throw the keys out. Chunk holy water, I think. All right. Let's keep moving. Hunger ping? No, no, not a problem. Now this, I believe, was our herbs. Yep, it was our herbs, so... I'm not gonna touch that. Now we have a trap here. I know our grave robber has good trap disarm, so... That brings her back down to zero stress. Very good. Let's take at least one torch here. Yeah, one torch is fine. Alright. Oh, the ectoplasms. I'm not sure if uh, YouTube's seen these yet. Or at least my channel has seen these yet. I don't believe we have. So the ectoplasm are annoying because they can stun you. They have a high crit chance, even though their attacks don't do much damage. But they can spawn more of themselves. 
Ectoplasms can effectively regenerate. And the big guy here, the towering one, for whatever reason has protection, which considering it's a giant ooze makes not really a lot of sense, but it has protection. And it does a lot of damage. So the others don't do much damage. It, this one, the big one hurts. So, boy, I bet they have high blight resistance they do. We could attempt to stun them, or just, I think, kill the front guy, frankly. Yeah. At this point, let's just focus damage on the front one. Try to get him out of the game. Goodness. Milan, when she doesn't crit, is not a uh, pretty sight. We could attempt to stun this guy, but... Yeah, let's just buff Psycho work and have him hit for a big number, hopefully. Slime, alright. Yeah, so not not scary damage. Figure out what the debuff is. One speed. How quickly the tide turns. Great. There goes that stun. Slime. Okay. It's worth trying to go for a stun on him. Yeah. We need it as a mark or something that can remove that, that protection. This party was not built to fight ectoplasms. At all. Alright. And that big slime attack, I think, can spawn more of the, of the towering ectoplasm kind. So we got we really gotta get rid of that. There we the go. The bigger the beast. The greater the Too bad we didn't have that earlier, but it is what it is. These guys have lower stun resist, so that might stun them. Alright, very good. We need our healer to act here. Good. Save Mulan there. She's getting a little low. Gives a chance to heal the whole party. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Ghoulish horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Indeed. Hmm. We're gonna camp and we're gonna eat four food, so that will go away, but... I think I need to keep this... I think I need to say no to this. Camp, and then get that. Four food. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Alright. So our usual situation is zealous speech for everybody. Uh, probably gonna... Do both? No. Zealous speech. Night moves. Pray. And then encourage somebody. Alright. Very nice. Who needs the accuracy? Oh, it's psycho work. And then encourage, someone needs to encourage. Uh, green. Alright. Now, this would kind of suck if we got ambushed, because we don't have ambush defense. As uh, the light right. gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Alright. So we camp early, but we got it out of our inventory, which is the most most important thing. Um. Okay. All right. Double crazed Nashers. They've got to go before even before the ghoul goes. They've got to go. 
their blight resistance is reasonably high. Hmm, what's our blight chance? 130, 150. No. I know we can stun them, so. Be nice if, if, if uh, Nate can kill us. Nice. Alright. Maybe, maybe this uh, psycho work is done this ghoul. I'm hoping. Maybe. Yes! Alright. Nice. Now we can deal with this other Nasher before he can act. Hopefully. Yep. Eradicated. That'll do it. Can't stun him again, so we'll just do damage to him. Bubbling. Skull toss, alright. He's got some stress with that. Not too bad. Wintergreen's seen worse. Alright. Very good. That could have been better, but we'll go with it. Light chance, pretty good. Double crit there with all right. This should do some big damage. Yep, and Ghoul is dead. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. No, it doesn't. All right, we could use some buffs. Uh, at this point, I weigh buffs higher than portraits because portraits are for, for a building we don't need anymore. So we're gonna take we're gonna take the buffs. Another carcass we needed food for. Mm. Too bad. Alright, we've almost gone through a uh, torch section here. Nice treasure room, alright. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. What do we have in here? Nice heirloom chest and a nasty fight, alright. So not only is it stress crone, but it's also stress enchantress. So this is a nasty fight because we had two high stress characters and we had the blighted giant. So. I mean, I'd like a crit here, but I doubt I'm going to get it. That's okay, though. That's actually really good. Uh, Nate could kill her. Yeah. N Nate and Wintergreen will have to be able to bring her down. Oh, alright. Curse vulnerability. Good dodge. We don't really want our tank being marked yet. Don't land that. Nice. Alright. We need Wintergreen to act here. Uh, I'll try stunning you. Nice. Winter Green. Good man. Hopefully this, the Blight lands on both of them. Please land on the uh, Enchantress, because she's dead. Alright, nice. There goes one Stress Caster. Uh, I'm almost thinking about Shadow Fading here, but... Uh, we need that Crone to become targetable. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep blooding on Confidence purpose. surges as the enemy right. crumbles. 10 damage, so she's dead in two turns, guaranteed now. Sun chance on giant's really high, so I guess we just need to do damage. Okay, embrace the dark. Nice, we dodged. All right, so Crone did nothing. Crone did nothing in this match. Tree branch smackdown is all but absorbed by Psycho Orc. Very powerful attack there that we don't need to worry about anymore. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. All right. That should stun the big guy. It does. Very good. Let's take this chance to heal up our party. A momentary abatement. All right. Now only Psycho Orc is wounded, and he can take it. Sixteen damage. Pretty good. Precision and power. Eighteen crit. Pretty good. Buff Psycho Orc's damage, and let's heal Psycho Orc. Alright, full crew. I'm ready for that tree branch. Give it to me. Ah, poison spores, oh, whatever, it's fine. Yep. Hundred and forty-seven accuracy. Not bad, alright, I forgot, we, we wintergreened. <laughs> Blight is not a problem. 
a victory. Perhaps nice. a turning point. Our G tapestry is gone where the torches are. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. How much do I value Citrine at this point? I think both the anti venom advantages are going to be used in this dungeon at some point. I'd like to chuck the shovels, but I think we're going to need them somewhere. I guess we're going to dump the Citrine now. Throw this key in. Nice. Finding the stuff is right. only the first test. Nice. Now it must be carried home. Got a, a five emerald stack. Nice. Hunger ping. Yep. We can we can take two more. Which ideally we will take them both and not take a third. Fight did just spawn here. We have max light. What is it? All right. Double nashers and a crone. That sucks. This really sucks because we're not going to be able to kill these nashers in time. Crit. No. Yep. Ouch. Okay, four damage. That that's fine. Don't give it as easy. Hopefully, no. Please don't crit. Nice dodge. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, embrace the dark. Yep. All right. Nice. That's that's just my dog. It does. Can't we can't hit the back one? Can't we? Right. As the fiend falls, a faint hope. I wish that blossoms. damage was, was was on this dog, not the other one. But so crones can embrace the dark from the front position. I did not know that. I don't think I've ever seen a crone in the front position. It's kind of a weird scenario here. That dog's gonna get to act again. Maybe we can stun it again. Maybe. Nope. Please kill. Awesome. Okay. Good. No more doggo. Them. Get out of here. Ugh. Curse of vulnerability. But that would be bad if uh, you didn't, if you weren't gonna die like right now. I want to see psycho works damage. That's why I'm delaying this by a turn. Yeah! There we go. Crushed by justice. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I want gold. We can't drop food. We could be edgy and drop torches. And just do a low light run all the way through, but that's asking for trouble. The reason why no one's dead in my playthrough yet is because I specifically have not done low light runs. That's that's not for the faint of heart. Um, could drop three busts for the gold, but I'm going to regret that if I find more busts later. Hmm. I think I've got to pick one now. Anti-Venom is for locks, but so are keys. But we're not going to want to use the last key, because the last key is going to be an heirloom chest, probably. So we're going to need the Anti-Venom for the, for the lockbox curio and the disease tree curio whereas the bandages are only now for the other tree curio so we're gonna jump we're gonna jump bandages we've got a higher chance of running into the two curios anti-venom works for than the one curio the bandages works for i believe unless the diseased man is also a bandage curio but i believe that is a medicinal herbs curio no i do not have the wiki open next to me this is all from memory i don't remember entirely which curio he is so we'll see. Hunger ping, that's scary. Oh no. That see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, we walked three rooms and had two hunger pings in reverse. Like what I should be leaving this dungeon with four food left. And now I still only have four food. <laughs> and we're gonna be going through the whole the whole rest of it, so. That's just wonderful. I guess we're not gonna press our luck, we'll do this with the Rave Robber. Really? Really? Alright. Okay, cool. Be that way. I'm not leaving the dungeon. Nope. If they all incur stress damage, they all incur stress damage now. That shouldn't be a thing, but it is apparently. Alright. Good rush. Yeah, I think I mentioned earlier in this playthrough, do not taunt Darkest Dungeon. 
This is, what, this is what happens to you if you do. Masterfully executed. Sword. All right. I was gonna say if we don't one shot the bone conscript here, but you have a buff to do psycho work, I'm gonna say be unhappy. Hmm. Let's buff Maid's damage. See if see if we can finish this thing off. Nope, dodge. Alright. Be wary. Good. Triumphant pride Oof. precipitates wow. a dizzying fall. Alright, there's a blockage. Get to use one of our shovels there. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Yeah, not a bad one. Luckily we surprised them. Okay. Grave robber's always first. This could crit and kill her. If not, the combined firepower of But Nate there's more Wintergreen and Mulan should be able to kill the enchantress. That's a good roll. Alright. Uh this Yeah, Nate Nate, yeah. Nate should be able to finish her here. Alright, good. Chantra's down. Some big guy. Same opener as last time. Yep. Crone lives. Annoying. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Okay. Mulan dodged it. Not too bad. And I guess we're just gonna... Dagger down the big guy here. Oh, we can't play grenade because. Oh, because Crone isn't detected in the back row. That's why I'm like. T she is definitely in the back row because Blood Giant takes up two slots, but. No. Well, that stinks. Alright. Nice. All right, get out of here. She's dead now. Psycho works in. Take a, take a big swing here. Nice. Confusions. Oh, I hate this move. Don't do it. Reeling. Crit and to break. shuffle. That is the. That, people are like Tree Brand Smackdown is the worst move for him. I disagree. Confusion sport sucks, especially if it's done turn like turn one. Luckily, it's not usually done turn one. And this move water really isn't all that bad. Her death by Honestly, inches. it's doable. We could heal up everybody. Yeah, why not? We're some big lunge from Mulan. Alright. Nice. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Ooh. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Scouting ping was going to reveal if I want to drop keys or not. Yep, can't drop shovels, that's for certain. Key could be a secret room down there, but I'm going to say... I think if we get more onyx, which is likely, it'd be worth it to keep it. Candy Vam still got a good chance of being used. Yeah. Let's drop keys. Actually. Why not? Now. I believe this is a stress relief buff. It is. Okay. Very good. Great. Gnawing hunger sets in, turning the body against itself, weakening Not the mind. Sorry, game. This is beginning to piss me off too. We've had four beast carcass curios. How about something else? Anything else? Nature herself. 
a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. The light, fight. the promise of safety. All right. Enchantress, stun chance is pretty good. Sure In radiance, may we find victory. Check four damage. Minor bleed, not a problem. This one you did. It's worth it to kill you. All right. Because stress is a thing now for our party. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. It's gonna stun with you, but honestly, let's just. Was hoping that would kill. We're gonna need a second one of those AOE heals. I want to stress heal Psycho Orc, but I'm a little busy at the moment. Not a good chance for a stun, but we still landed it. Alright. is not really concerned with taking damage at this point. Nice! Should be some stress heal on uh, Wintergreen. That should put... Okay, so now we're back to reasonable stress levels. How many blights can we stack on this man? Nine, all right. Great. It's fine, that, 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 that was interesting. All righty. Oh, food. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. All right. We're gonna run a torch, we're gonna run a torch one more time. No, we're not. A little bit of light, or we're not gonna get surprised in here, I don't think. Sandy Venom's not, not paying off, man. Thought it'll be worth it. It's not. Took a calculated risk and failed. Alright, fungal battery and crone in the back. Well, did we, stun, did we stun you or did we blight you? That's a good question. I guess that'll see depending on how much damage this does. I'll at least you blight you because I want to kill you both. Stun just to make sure you don't get an action. I want you marking my party. Alright, big fella. How's that? Now hopefully he lives in our turn. This fungal battery, so I can hit her again with more blight, so they both die. That's that's the plan here. Broken swipe. Dodged it. Alright. I don't want you to die. <laughs> Actually need it to live. So we're gonna do that. Need wintergreen to go here. No, oh, wintergreen. Yeah. What speed do you have? Nine, huh? Alright. And that should be GG for those people. It is. Alright. No stun with us. 45% stun resist. Wow. Alright. damage. Alright. Okay. 
Let's keep alternating stuns on them so they can never both act together. Okay. Light. Alright. Not gonna stun that time, so let's do an AoE deal. A momentary abatement. Wow. Oh, they're right. They, they, they do a 50% rot. I thought they had less than 50%. Yikes. Even the mighty cycle work is not doing much. Milan should be able to finish this. She's got, she's got big damage buff, so hopefully it's enough to- Oh, she can't get over that. No! That lands, he's dead. Try me for a crit heal there. Nah. Money! Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Alright, no blockages, so we don't need shovels anymore. I do want the deeds, so let's drop, uh... Or the... Eh. Eh. I'm gonna pass on that. Alright, who has the most stress? Psycho work does, so you're taking this. Alright. Set out here. Maybe more of these will be, uh... No, bandage one. Yeah, they finally, there it is. My anti-venom. My anti-venom curio. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Ended up being worth 750 gold. Alright, I guess that was worth it. We also have a trap down here we can disarm. Alright. You know, just for, out of curiosity, considering we can... We don't have the bandage for it, but we can still search it. Not bandage. Yeah, sticky goo. Oh! Wow! Never mind. That actually gives you the worst perk in the game. Or one of them. Holy crap. That, see what? <laughs> I think at the beginning of this playthrough, I was like, yeah, don't, don't, don't access any curios. Not the item that works. Though. Here I am doing it. And what do I get? That. Permanent negative one speed. Just, just, boom. 2,500 gold to remove. <laughs> what? What? Alright. We're done. Driving out corruption is an endless battle. But one that must be fought. Alright. Made good bank, which is good. We should be over 100k an hour, close to it. And, uh... Made more deeds and busts, which was the main point of this. And level 5, everybody. Alright. Nate acquired Eldritch Hater and replaced Beast Slayer. That is a bit of an improvement. Dipsomania. Alright. Cove Explorer replaced Hard Skin. That's not good. Unyielding replaced Beast Hater. Not Well, it's alright. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Alright. Now, so we, if we sort by level again... Got a good bunch of the cast here, but it's now rank 5. Let's uh, disembark. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. I do, however, want to put Mulan in here. Yes, you can go on the next mission, but no. Not with... No, wait, who got it? Didn't you get slow reflexes? No, our... Our healer got slow reflexes? That's even worse. Okay. I thought... Yeah, no. We gotta get rid of that. Sorry, Nate. Get rid of that. Alright. And there we go. I would say that was a fairly successful episode. We got minorly trolled by the uh, Hunger Pings, but... It is what it is, and four uh, beast carcasses in the world. Up, in the world, I've never seen that many. At least that common before, but we still made a lot of money. Still, still very much a worth it mission.
I think our crew has really that really does not really have much of a problem dealing with veteran dungeons anymore. Um, at least highlight veteran dungeons. I'm not going to run them low light. It's just you're you're asking too much of the game at that point. Um, you're gonna die <laughs> unless you really know what you're doing. But uh, overall, we're doing pretty good, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Darkest Dungeon.